Hey guys, it's me, and today I'm here with a new reaction video for you guys. So today we are checking out a band that I love so, so much, and that is Teatro de Vampire. And today we are checking out their latest music video for their song, Christina. And this is the second single coming off of their upcoming album, in nomine sanguinis and i am so excited for this i listened to death in venice for the first time was it yesterday or saturday i can't remember it was one of those two days it might have been yesterday though when i checked it out for the first time and i just love that song so much it reminds me of like their older stuff i'm talking like anima noir and back like, it has, like, that type of vibe to it. I'm super curious and excited to give this song a go because, I mean, I really enjoyed Death in Venice. And, again, I just love this band so much. I've been a big fan of this band for about 10 years now, I think. I can't remember when I got into this band. I know it was around the time when Moonlight Waltz came out when I got into this band. And that album came out in 2011. I will say this, Candyland... It's a nice album, but it's definitely not their best. And I feel like this album is almost like just going over like the track list for this. And after hearing Death in Venice, I have a feeling that this album is almost going to be kind of like a back to basics for them and whatnot. Because Candyland was definitely something different for them. Like it had like a bit of like a concept to it and everything. And it was very different. They definitely explored like different aspects and avenues and whatnot with it but i feel like just going over like the track list for this album and also like i mentioned before listening to death in venice it feels like they're going back to their basics like back to their roots a bit so i'm really curious as to how the entire album is going to pan out but anyways that's enough of me rambling and everything and just gushing over this band and whatnot let's go ahead and dive on into this reaction video but before we do so if you guys are new here to my channel don't forget to hit subscribe and also like down there definitely give this video a thumbs up because that'll help me out a lot all my links are in the description box below and yeah let's do this and as always sonia just looks Absolutely stunning. This is so good. I'm really loving this. Again, like I mentioned with how I felt about Death and Venice, like, it has like that, like, Adam Amoir vibe to it, and I'm just... Oh, I love this. Like, it's a good blend of, like, old school and new school Teatro de Vampire, and I just, oh, I'm so hyped for this new album.
that was so good. I really enjoy that. I do like Death in Venice a bit more, but this is still a really, really good song. Like, the song has, like, power, strength, and beef to it with the instrumental. Don't get me wrong, I love, like, Sonia's more exaggerated singing style and everything. Like, you hear, like, the very, like, breathy type of singing style that she does. I, I think that's how you could describe it. I don't know, like, the stuff that you heard a lot on, say, like, Moonlight Waltz, like, that type of singing style from her. Like, if you were to listen to, like, uh, Sangue, Medusa, um, Carmilla especially. Don't get me wrong, I love that singing style from her, but it's nice to hear, like, something like this from her again. This was Christina by Teatro de Vampir. What did you guys think about it? I loved this so so much. I thought that this was such a great song and also again I'm just so hyped for Innomine Sangonis. I am just oh I'm so excited. I'm so so excited. What did you guys think about it? Let me know in the comments below and also while you're down there let me know as to what songs and videos I should react to next and I'll be sure to get to them as soon as I possibly can but until I see you guys in my next video whenever the hell that may be. Goodbye.